Hi folks, this is going to be a quick way to use one of our styles that was contributed by Jean Cyprien of France, which is made to use as a Christmas style, but can be used for other things. So first, you need 25 images. And I'm going to load 25 images, and then we need to select them. If we click on the first image, and then click or hold down the shift key, and click on the last image, it selects all 25. And whichever image appears in position 25 will be the background image for this cube construct. So put whatever image you want to be the background in position 25. And then we'll go to slide styles and click. And when the menu comes up, if you have loaded the slide style, it will be in the user styles and it will be called Sapin Babel. S-A-P-A-N capital B-A-B-E-L. I don't know the French pronunciation, but that's it. And you click on that, and it says style needs 25 images. You chose 25 images, and then click apply. And what will happen is you'll see two blank screens, and then a screen with writing, and then one with nothing, which is the ending, and then a black uh, blank screen. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play this so you can see it in the mini viewer and see the original, how it looks. And you see it comes on with text in French, and this lasts for 45 seconds. So I'm going to stop here and go to like 40, let's see, 44 seconds and start it up, and then we'll go and start building cues. You see them starting down here at the bottom, and it builds a very nice pyramid uh, of cubes, and each of these cubes has the same image on all four sides, and each of the cubes are one of the 25 images that you chose. So it goes ahead and builds, and when it gets up closer to the top of the pyramid, text for Christmas and French will start circling around. Now, if you're not French, and you're very good with PTE, you could change the text to something meaningful in English or German or whatever your native language might be. But many times, if you're not using this as a Christmas style, you might want to just remove the text and remove the text in the long 45 second delay on the first image. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So. Now I'm going to pull this back to the beginning. I'm going to click on the first image that has the text. Then I'm going to Objects and Animations. And I'm simply going to go here and click on Text and Delete. Now the text is gone. And the next thing we want to do is change the amount of time. And the reason that... Um, uh, Jean Cyprien put in a long period of time for text is that some slower computers take a, a while to build the cubes. If you have a very slow computer, you may want to let more time go by on this first image or put in text of your own and let some time go by. Otherwise, you can change it by clicking on slide options and change 45 seconds to something like 4 seconds. And I've done that. So now, 
we've taken care of the text and the time on the first image. Here's how to remove the Christmas greeting text from the, from the slideshow. Click on the second visible image, go to Objects and Animations. When you get there, you're going to see several things here. You're going to see this first joyous Noel Avant, and then you see the same thing down here. This is the beginning of the text. This is the back side of the text, so you want to take those both out. So click on the first one and hit the delete key. Then go down. Don't click on any of these uh, hauteur. Go all the way down and click on the Joyce Noel uh, at the end and hit the delete key. Now I'm going to go back and show you in the mini viewer that you have changed the timing to four seconds on this first slide and then the the uh, kids begin to build and the whole pyramid the cubes will build but there will be no text so that's how you go about taking out the Christmas text in French and either replace it if you have the skills to do so or just delete it and use this very nice cube animation for other purposes like I've done here. It will go ahead and build to the top all your uh, cubed images in the background is there. You can change the background if you wanted to. You can make it a blurred background. You can do anything with that person's image that you want. So there you go. That's it. That's all there is to it. Hopefully this will help you use uh, Jean Sipian's very nice Sapin Babel style.